So now, just as we did with the reverse of the great seal on the back of the $1 bill, I'm going to examine the gematria, the occultic numerology involved in the 9-11 event. These are the numbers of the three flights that struck these three buildings. The North Tower was struck by Flight 11, the South Tower was struck by Flight 175, and the Pentagon was allegedly struck by Flight 77. Now, there is another flight that was involved on that day that crashed in Shanksville, Pennsylvania by an unknown act of will, shall we say. And this was Flight 93, and it is my contention that Flight 93 was indeed headed for World Trade Center number 7, Building 7 of the Trade Center, not to Washington, D.C., as is claimed. And this, to me, makes much more sense than it heading toward Washington, D.C., because I believe it was there to strike a building that had already been wired to allegedly collapse as the two Twin Towers were, and that was Building 7. And, and the, the flight not making it to that building meant that they had to make a decision about whether to pull that building or to allow it to stand, and we know what they chose. So I'm going to place 93 over Building 7, and at first this would seem like a very arbitrary arrangement of numbers, and that these numbers don't have any commonalities to them until we begin to perform gematria upon them. And then we see a very clear pattern emerge. So I'm going to leave 11 as is for now, and I'm going to reduce or add these two numbers together and get a total. So 9 plus 3 is 12. 1 plus 7 plus 5 is 13. And 7 plus 7 is 14. So now, uh, the four of the four planes, we have a clear pattern. We have the pattern 11, 12, 13, and 14. And we can further reduce those down to one digit. We add 1 plus 1 and we get 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 1 plus 3 is 4. 1 plus 4 is 5. So we have the pattern 2, 3, 4, 5. When we add those together, 2 plus 3 plus 4, plus 5, we get the total 14. And again, there's that symbolic number again that totals 5, that is about the five elements, earth, air, water, fire, and spirit. But it is the separation of them, the 1 and the 4, the spirit and then the 4 elements. This is the 14th level of that pyramid where the light is at, the 13 levels of stone, and then the light at the top, the 14th level. So look at the 9-11 date, 9-11-2001. You add up all of these numbers, 9 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 in 2001, and you get 14 again. So not only is it the date, it's the, the, the powers that did the act. Okay, The four planes totaled to 14, their digits all totaled, make 14. So the powers that perform this act are the 14, and this correlates with the 14th level of this pyramid, or the illuminated ones, the sorcerers behind the scenes that are manipulating the events of the world. So we have the, this arrangement on the building, 77 at the Pentagon, 11 at the North Tower, 175 at the South Tower, 93 at Building 7. If we add the two planes that struck these towers together, we get the number 186. 175 plus 11 is 186. Now, these are the planes that struck the, the Twin Towers, the North and South Tower. What if we equally distribute that number between the two buildings by dividing it into two. 186 divided by 2 is 93. So there is 93, 93, 93 on every building. And we've already seen what 93 represents. It represents the will to ascend out of illusion, out of base consciousness, and into 
cosmic awareness or higher levels of consciousness. 93 is the number of will, power, and of love. It is essentially the same force. The force that expands consciousness, love, or will to ascend, to put what we think and feel into action, to use our will power. So we are left with only two numbers that symbolically represent the events of this day, 77 and 93. And these are two extremely significant occult numbers in numerology because they represent two completely different concepts. And we have to look at these two numbers as they relate to a third number, the number 777, which we've already seen is the number of God or completion or perfection. We saw that earlier, uh, the seven chakras, the seven planets that can be seen with the naked eye, tripled for the three aspects of consciousness, unified as one to total three. Again, it's the number of God, the number of completion, or the number of perfection. 93 in relation to this number 777, just like 777 totals 21, which totals 3, 93 totals 12, which reduces to 3. So they equal the same thing, which means they equal the same. They mean the same thing. So love is 93. Will is, is the concept of 93. It is the number of ascension. So all of these ideas are the same. They mean the same thing. In gematria, when numerological um, additions total the same value, the, the words that they represent really mean the same, same thing. So 93 is 777, is love, is will, is ascension, is God, is completion, is perfection. These are all the same concept. The number 77 is very significant. It is the 14. It is the dark aspect of that light in the triangle, the ego, the, the all-seeing eye that is identified with building that pyramid upward, the physical form, the physical world, ruling, control, sorcery. It is the force of chaos, the number 77 represents chaos in all forms of occultism. It represents the sorcerer. It is the sorcerer's number. And it is the number of the beast in disguise. Why is that? Because if you fail, even if you succeed in one of the other two aspects of consciousness, in thought and emotion but not action, or in thought and action but no emotion, in the example of a sorcerer has no emotion, or even in uh, emotion and action, but with no thought. That is base consciousness. That is the beast. You have not arrived at the 777. You have only arrived at the 77, which is two-thirds of completion, or it is 14 out of 21, two-thirds, right? And this reduces in decimal to 0.666, repeating. So it is the number of the beast in disguise. The sorcerer is the beast. And this is encoded on the third degree tracing board of Freemasonry. Here you see the tools that slayed Hiram Abiff. He is finally struck with the mallet, representing ignorance, the light going out, the third eye being struck put into the coffin, okay? The coffin is the spirit, where Hiram Abiff, the uh, H, 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 hey, hey, hey in Hebrew, representing 555, Hiram Abiff's number. He is in his coffin because he is the spirit, he is the truth, he is the light, and he is, the, the, the skull and bones is placed on top of the coffin symbolic of the sorcerer. The sorcerer who conquers his spirit so that the skull, cleverness, thought and cleverness, left brain cleverness, plus the will to act reigns over the spirit. 
The sorcerer has cleverness. He has the will to put his cleverness into action, but the, he has no conscience. The conscious, conscience is entombed in that coffin. And an individual such as this is headed west. They are headed toward the realm of darkness and death, to the west, not toward the realm of light, to the east. And uh, here, symbolically, is the sprig of acacia, and that represents the hope of resurrection in Freemasonry. So this is the hope that one who has destroyed their own spirit through their, their usage of their intellect and their will to act in an egoic fashion may indeed still be able to resurrect the spirit and come to a place of moral uprightness and conscience. So that is what this tracing board represents and it is the third degree tracing board. It is saying you may now be initiated into some of the mystery, into some of the knowledge, but you must use that with spirit intact and not use it as a sorcerer. Otherwise you are headed west and you are not headed toward the true realm of light which lies to the east. And I think that's a, a great uh, uh, allegorical um, explanation for morality. And we see, therefore, that the two numbers that this ritual uh, reduces down to is 77 and 93, and the positions that they are in is all telling. The, this, the, the, the purpose of the ritual is so that the sorcerers that are consider themselves the all-seeing eye of consciousness, okay, are destroying others' ability to find truth, to give birth to conscience, and to rise in consciousness. And they're destroying that ladder to the higher realms of consciousness. Or if we replace 77 and 93 with their symbolic Analog 77, the number of the beast in, in disguise. 93, another variant for 777, the number of God. Look at what this ritual is really about symbolically. It is about the beast reigning above God, the beast becoming God and destroying God. That's what it's ultimately about. That's how dark this ritual really is. It is about... The, the ego and illusion conquering the spirit and conquering higher consciousness. We can see that it is encoded in the date itself. 9-11 reduces to 9-2. We're just adding the two ones together. And there we have symbolically the entire ritual encapsulated in the name. 9-11 is 92. See, it is not 93, it's one short of love, of ascension, of will, of God. It is falling short of the divine. That's what this whole event was about. That the idea that human will is falling short and now the time of the beast is upon us. See, 92 out of 93, falling short of love, will, ascension, God, is reduces to 11 out of 12, which reduces to 2 out of 3, which again is the number of base consciousness. It is the number of the beast when it is reduced to its decimal format.